Okay, well today we are at the Big Goodwill in Lancaster. It is 3.25 in the afternoon and um, I'm hoping we're not too late. <laughs> Sometimes when we get here later in the day, we don't find a whole lot, but we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Alright, so I'm going to start today in the white section, I think, and uh, see what we can find. It's like a shell-shaped dish, but there's a lot of chips on the edge. This is made in Mexico. Looks like somebody actually wrote the price in um, Sharpie, unfortunately. Here's a pretty little vase. Who makes this? I've seen this before. I'm not really sure, but it's really colorful and I like it. Oh, wait, is that a, that's a giant crack. Okay, never mind. We're gonna move on to this vase over here and check this out. That one is also, what a bummer, that one is also broken. Look at the Canadian geese on there. Canada goose? I'm not really sure what the proper, I know I have a lot of Canadian viewers. Um, they probably just call them geese. I'm really bummed out about that. I'm just gonna keep moving though. Uh, this is, sweet. It's very thin ceramic. Um, and it's Nesco. $1.99. I'm going to pull that down and get a closer look at it. Make sure there's no damage. It turns out there's a crack on that one as well. So let's just keep going. <laughs> I really like this. It's a piggy bank. Oh, it's Hallmark. Only at Hallmark. $2.99. It still has the little plug in it too. Obviously, that's contemporary, but I think that's a great design. Salt and pepper shakers. Well, the other aisles were a little busy, so I decided to skip a few. And here we are in the blue and pink section. Two little cups. What is the purpose of this uh, other thing? It looks like it would have had a lid. And unfortunately, there is no, oh my gosh, we're striking out today, aren't we? That is a very large, heavy vase. Great bargain for $12.99. There's a little cloisonne fish. Oh, he's kind of sweet. Look at his little whiskers. <laughs> There's no price on that, but I can't imagine it would be more than like $1.99. Hmm. All right, well, let's get to the next section. Wifey established 2020. Let's chip on the tail of that. Those look like consolidated glass. They've got birds on them. I think those are consolidated glass and they're in good condition. Here we go. Two of them for $2.99 each. All right. A few little glass dolphins for $2.99. We will pick those up. Those can do all right. I guess we're buying things in pairs today. I love the shape of those. The lotus flowers, I think. What does this say? Green lotus tea light holder, handcrafted in India. 10,000 villages. All right, well, I think I'm gonna do a little backtracking. Um, they are currently stocking, so keep an eye on that. Oh, look at that down there. $2.99. I love the color. Stick that in there. Looks like it's made in China. Japanese porcelain ACF, so that would be like 1970s. Um, there's a console bowl. I think that's Indiana glass. They sell for like 15 to 25 dollars. And they're not the easiest to ship. There's a little turtle incense. $2.99. Oh, 
He's likely contemporary, but I like turtles. Oh, it's a wax candle. Um, at first I thought it was made from wood, and I have bought and sold the little wood wooden guys before. $4.99 for that. Yeah, I think $25 to $30 probably. It's that kind of avocado green. I'll stick it in here with the rest of my glass. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat looking. Oh, it's, it's got the actual tag hanging out of there. It's not as old as it's intended to look. I wonder if that's like a Forever 21 or something. Well, those were definitely not there when I came down the aisle the first time. They're made in Japan. They're stovetop salt and pepper shakers for $2.99. This is also new. That wasn't there. What is that? Made in England. Oh, it's Bess Bessic? I think I said it right this time. A little dish. I don't know if that would have had a teacup to go with it, but I love that for spring. There's a new cart, but it looks like it's been pretty well picked over. And they still have all the Christmas out, and I'm amazed that there's still uh, Christmas stuff being added to it. It looks like there's a little Thanksgiving mixed in there, though. Here is another new cart. I'm not seeing a whole lot, though. This is incredible for crafting. Juliet would make such a mess with that. <laughs> You'd think it would be the opposite effect, but it wouldn't. Um, yeah, not seeing much on there. Here's some of those faces. Dagny and I were joking about those the last time we were here. They had a whole set of them. They would be great for the baby room. Oh, these little guys are adorable. Kind of reminds me of um, pieces we've had in the past. You know what? I'll pick those up. I'm not sure exactly who makes them. I think they're little carolers. So they're probably more Christmas. Gosh, that little thing is kind of creepy for Baby's World. Eee. All right, so I snatched this up as I was walking past. Can't tell. I don't think that's damage. I mean, this is just like eight to twelve dollars, but it's a pretty uh, purple satin glass. Um, no, that's not a crack. There's no cracks on it. So I had skipped this aisle because it was a little crowded. Uh, but this is probably one of my favorite aisles. So let's see what we can find. It's a pretty little still life. There's a lot of artwork here today, it looks like. <laughs> the Pyrex has seen better days. $1.99. The angels are still here. Giant acorn. Some decorative koi fish. What is this? A little wooden uh, box. Looks like it's carved. Let's see if it opens. No, that is not going to come open. <laughs> it says uh, Mackinac Island. But yeah, the lid is completely jammed in there. Over here is a little turtle trinket. Alright, there's some more of those weirdo faces. That looks like it's broken. Wait a second. I think that's Wheaton, is it? It's not marked on the bottom. It's missing its stopper. I was literally just looking at some similar yesterday. That's how I recognize that. Oh, I lost his arm. He's made in China, though. A smiley face? It is a smiley face. It's made in China. Smiley faces always make me think of Yvonne. What's that in the back? Oh, it's a candle. Kind of looks like cameo glass, but we have no such luck. This is a salsa bowl. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> this is all resin. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It's Noah's Ark, obviously. I'm looking it over because I'm like, where's the damage? There has to be damage on here somewhere, right? 
Where is there? I don't know. Oh, here he is. The giraffe is missing his head. That's a bummer because that's actually a really cool piece for being resin. It's a wooden shaker. I don't see any markings on it. And I don't see a price on it either. And I'm wondering if he has a friend. He's got some nice uh, mid-century modern lines. I walked right by that. Look at him. He's pretty cool. There's no chips or cracks on there. $1.99. I like that. It's kind of like a 3D effect to it. It might be Otagiri, but I'm not positive. What is this? This is Home Essentials. It's a reverse painted bowl. The tulips on there are really pretty. Oops, sorry. I like the wispiness of that. It's a dollar ninety nine. I'm not sure if it's a tumbler or maybe a vase. Oh look, there's another one of those glasses. I don't know if those have been listed yet, but I only had five of them, so this is probably the sixth one. They have uh, birds on them. I'll grab that. Maybe we can add that to that listing. That's an impressive chip and dip bowl. 1908 Ford. There's actually two car glasses, but they're very worn. Here's some roly poly glasses. The graphics on those are really good. They are Sarah, I think is how it's pronounced S E R A. Uh, the carrot glasses that we recently bought and sold with the ice bucket, they were the same brand, uh, Sarah. Sarah. Um, for $2.99 each. I'll pick up the roly polies. Okay, well, I'm going to take a second trip down the aisles now. That was kind of just our preliminary. Uh, we're going to see what else we can find. This ladle is really pretty, but somebody attached it to this wood. I'm not sure why they did that. I wonder who makes it. Can't really see the maker's mark. That's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... I do like that, but I don't even know if I could get it unattached. Too bad Dagny's not here because I just won the game. Alright, let's get them a little bit lower and check these shelves. There's a little polymer clay angel. I guess she's not an angel, she's got ribbon on her. She's sweet. I'll move her to the front. This picture up here, I actually noticed it when I was walking by and it's still here. What is that? Semi granite, Cook and Hancock. $10 they have on this. I really love that stoneware. I think this is probably from a wash basin, would be my assumption. Looks like this. I mean, it must have come from an antique booth or something, but uh, they had a $39 on it originally. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess with that for $10. Hmm. The pansy bell. There's no damage on it. It's $2.99. I, th I feel like I've seen this before, so I'm like, I'm struggling a little bit. It's $2.99. I'll grab it and figure it out later. Florida. And it's covered in a bunch of things. I guess I have to pull all those off. This is a souvenir plate, but I'm curious who it's made by. I don't want to just dump everything off of there, though. Come here. Okay. What does it have on it? A green creation made in Japan. Originally six dollars and thirty-nine cents. Say it's probably vintage, but I would think I don't know. I think that would be kind of a pain to ship. Here's another matchy match with the angels that we picked up. That one's got a little tea light area on there. Hmm. I guess that makes three of them. I wonder if that goes with our shaker. Ah, the little 
would look similar, but I don't think it's right. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe that was a pepper and this is a, uh, a salt. Maybe I'll just grab it just in case. What are these down here? Those feel like pewter. They're extremely heavy. I don't know what that says though. Um, if I can't read it, should I still buy it? They're train. Train stuff. I mean, train stuff sells. They're very, very heavy pewter. Um, so I'll grab those for $2.99. What is that thing? Saturday, he created the stars. <laughs> this is a contemporary lamp. It might be one similar to sold, being sold at Target. Uh, but I absolutely love that orange glass. I think that's just great. So I am going to pick that up. What is this? Looks like Lucite. I'm confused by that little, uh, little thing there. I'm not really sure what's going on. I just snatched this off the end cap. Um, it's 99 cents. I peeled back the sticker a little bit. It says uh, made in Taiwan for barren buckles. And so the last one sold on eBay for $18. So for only 99 cents, I feel like that would be worth grabbing. I also noticed this the first time I walked past and I just kind of ignored it. That's some crazy pewter. What is it? It's very warped, though. All right, I'm gonna just keep going. That's nice. That looks like it's got some age to it. Unfortunately, it has an issue with its spout. There's two of these on the shelf, little candlestick holders, but one of them is pretty busted up. I know we have uh, bought and sold those before. What is this? This is Fultz Graf. Look at those birds. It's a bird tile. <laughs> kind of weird, I think the, um... wait, no, I've got it. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What is this down here? It looks like it's a pyrography of some sort. I guess uh, I really like that at $1.99. I'm not sure who makes it. That's kind of cool. I like the shape and I like the design on it. Only a dollar ninety-nine. Okay. Notice there were some bears back there. I feel like we've looked at them before, though. There's a whole bag of napkin rings. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing in there that's really exciting, in my opinion. This was surprisingly heavy when I picked it up. It's $2.99, and the purple on that is just so eye-catching. It's kind of weird. It's not amethyst. It's more of like a lilac. It's got that optic swirl to it. No, that's kind of throwing me off because it's, it's heavy, so it feels like it's better quality. I don't know who makes it. What is this? There is a signature on that. I think that's got some age to it. You can see it's kind of an etched signature. It is a compote. Um, yeah, maybe like a console dish. The gold on it is very worn, and it's just kind of plain, even though it's got some age. What is that? That is a milk glass mug. Daisy. I wonder if that's personalized. That's really sweet. Open your heart and friendship will follow you. Aww. I really like that milk glass mug. That says, uh, by Martin Associates, Inc. Oh, okay. There's another milk glass mug. I love Grandma, $1.99. And another one? What? Praying hands. I just found this 
box on the shelf. It looks like super fancy. It's all padded in there. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Maybe you burn it and then there's a ring inside. Hmm. It does say a ring on each candle. I remember these being advertised. And you can kind of see the ring creep in there. I mean, that's pretty cool. I might grab that and just experiment with it and see if, uh, if there's anything worthwhile inside. I will say, though, it definitely smells like soap. <laughs> Not the greatest smell. There's a little vase just creeping right there. 99 cents. I was kind of hoping it would have something there on the bottom. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe I'll pass on that. Okay, well I think I went ahead towards the checkout and I will let you guys know what the total spend was when I get to the car. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.